Part 3. The Energy Page In the previous parts of this video, I prepared a quick previsibility study of a 10 megawatt photovoltaic project using the Virtual Energy Analyzer, adjusted settings related to currency and heating value reference, and then examined the location and facility pages. Next, I will look at the three pages where the majority of inputs describing the key characteristics of the project are entered, the Energy, Cost, and Emissions pages. Note that the energy and cost pages for photovoltaic, wind, and hydro projects are treated in more depth in separate videos. The energy page contains a number of elements. RetScreen arranges these elements in three groups. The first group, dealing with the characteristics of electricity and fuels, is accessed through Step 1, Electricity and Fuels, on the menu bar or the Fuels and Schedules section at the top of the left-hand navigation pane. The second group, dealing with the technical specifications of the technologies employed, is accessed through step two, technology, on the menu bar or the technology section partway down the left-hand navigation pane. The third group, summarizing the performance of the technologies, is accessed through step three, summary, on the menu bar or the bottom section of the left-hand navigation pane. So, if you are new to this page and feeling a bit lost, just work from left to right across the menu or from top to bottom on the left-hand pane. I'll start with electricity and fuels. A list of fuels and electricity tariffs appears in the right-hand pane of the page. These fuels and electricity tariffs are available for use elsewhere in the analysis, but there is no obligation to use all of them. For example, if I were unsure whether this photovoltaic project would earn 4, 5, or 6 euro cents per kilowatt hour, I could define three electricity tariffs and name them low, mid, and high export tariff. Then, when I'm defining my project later on, I could pick one of these tariffs by name. These tariffs are annual tariffs. Typically, RetScreen will calculate the electricity that is fed onto the grid in a year. Then it will multiply this by the annual tariff to find the annual electricity export revenues. Sometimes the tariff will vary over the course of the year. If it varies from month to month, I can add a tariff, choose electricity export rate monthly for the tariff type, and then enter monthly values. Let's say the project would earn 4 euro cents per kilowatt hour for 5 months during autumn and winter, 6 euro cents for 3 months during summer, and 5 euro cents for the remaining shoulder season. RetScreen calculates the annual average tariff. For most technologies, RetScreen will multiply the annual average calculated from the monthly data by the annual electricity exported to determine the annual revenues for electricity sales. But for wind and photovoltaics, it can also do a monthly analysis in which the monthly electricity exports will be calculated individually and multiplied by the tariff for that month. In this way, the analysis reflects any seasonal correlation between electricity tariffs and the wind or solar resource. If the tariff varies by time of day or by day of the week, RetScreen includes a tool that may assist in determining the annual average per kilowatt hour price earned for electricity sales. Opening the toolbox and selecting the electricity rate time of use tool, you can enter the price of electricity for each hour of each day of the week. Then, you estimate production for each hour using a typical profile over the course of the day. This requires some careful thought and judgment, but you may still find it useful. In addition to electricity, this pane allows us to define fuels. Once again, they are available for use in our analysis, but there is no obligation to use them. By default, RetScreen includes a fuel, natural gas. Our photovoltaic project requires no fuel, so I can simply ignore the fuel section. But if my project were a steam or gas turbine, for example, I would specify the cost of gas in the fuel rate. Let's say the project would pay 3 euro cents per kilowatt hour of gas. Note that the default units for natural gas are cubic meters. First, I would change the fuel type from natural gas in cubic meters to natural gas in kilowatt hours. Then I would enter 3 euro cents. I could add other fuels, just as I added multiple electricity tariffs. For example, if I generated steam by incinerating packaging waste, I'd pick that as a fuel and enter the cost per delivered dry ton for packaging waste. If I don't find the fuel I am looking for in my drop-down list, I have further options, available from the menu bar. 
For example, if I had a reciprocating engine that ran on biogas, I could pick that. This would add biogas to my list of fuels, and also add a new window for specifying the sources of the biogas. Here I will assume that it is a pig farm. From this, RETScreen would estimate the ultimate analysis of its components, the heating value and the emissions factor. I could overwrite the value suggested by RETScreen. I could also pick landfill gas. This opens a new window with a calculator capable of estimating the production of landfill gas. Similarly, for user-defined fuels. I can navigate among the windows for defining these fuels by selecting from the list under Electricity and Fuels in the left-hand navigation pane. Note that there is a down arrow icon beside the text Heating Value and Fuel Rate at the bottom of the Fuels box. Clicking on this shows the heating value and fuel rate in units of my choice. This is useful in two ways. First, if I have a fuel in one unit, biogas in cubic meters, but I want to know what the fuel rate would be in another unit, say euros per gigajoule, RATSCREEN will do the conversion here. Second, I can compare the energy content and cost per unit of energy across fuels using the same units, in this case, megajoules per kilogram and euros per gigajoule of energy. Obviously, I don't need any of these fuels for my photovoltaic project. If I choose to delete them, it is a three-step process. First, I need to make sure that the fuel is not being used by any technology in my analysis. Otherwise, RETScreen will not permit the fuel to be deleted. Second, I click on the minus sign below the fuel and it is deleted. Third, I right-click on the fuel in the list in the navigation pane and select Delete there. When I am satisfied with the electricity tariffs and fuels available to work with in my project, I proceed to the technology elements. Note that while I can access this from the navigation pane on the left or from the menu bar, the result is very different. From the menu bar, picking a technology from the drop-down list adds a new technology. I could add a reciprocating engine and wind power to my existing photovoltaic project in this way, for example. From the navigation pane, in contrast, clicking on a row selects from among previously added technologies. This is an important distinction. Let's say one wants to update the inputs for an existing photovoltaic project. If I go to the menu bar to try to bring up the window with the photovoltaic project's parameters, I will get a window with PV parameters, but it will be for a new project. If I get confused and repeat this, I'll end up with a list of partially completed photovoltaic projects. This is not what I want. To access a previously created technology, use the navigation pane at the left. Should you use the menu option by mistake, you can delete the superfluous projects by right-clicking on their names in the navigation pane. I can see under the technology section on the navigation pane at left that there is a photovoltaic 10,000 kilowatt project added by the Virtual Energy Analyzer. By clicking on the name, I select this project and its parameters are displayed in the pane on the right. These parameters are examined in detail for photovoltaic, wind, and hydro technologies in separate videos, so I will only make a few key points here. First, I can change the name of the project, currently photovoltaic 10,000 kilowatts, to something of my choosing. I'll call it Modified PV Archetype. Observe that the name also changes in the navigation pane at left. Second, the key outputs for the analysis are the annual electricity exported to the grid and the annual electricity export revenue. The word annual does not appear in the red screen parameter descriptions, so don't forget that these are annual values. In red screen, export means electricity production that is sold to the grid at the electricity export rate. The electricity export rate is selected from a drop-down list which includes all the tariffs previously specified under the electricity and fuel section. I'll pick the mid-export tariff of 5 euro cents per kilowatt hour. 
Third, while most of the input parameters in the energy page are for specifying the physical characteristics of the project, it does include inputs for the initial costs and annual operating and maintenance or O&M costs. Clicking on the dollar sign icon beside these inputs opens a cost database which suggests costs on a per kilowatt basis. I'm not obliged to adopt these suggestions. At the time I'm recording this, for example, initial costs for utility scale PV systems in Germany are around 750 euros per kilowatt, so I will enter that. For the O&M costs, I will enter 8 euros per kilowatt per year. Fourth, note that at the top right I can select whether the energy analysis is level 1 or level 2. Level 1 is a rudimentary analysis. Level 2 requires more detail about the project. Some technologies, like wind, have a level 3 analysis at an even finer level of detail. You will see level 1, 2, and 3 buttons in other RET screen pages to indicate different levels of detail. Note, however, that the level on one page is completely independent from the level on another. For example, it is perfectly acceptable to have a level 1 analysis in the energy page, a level 3 analysis in the cost page, and a level 2 analysis in the emission page. If I toggle back and forth between the level 1 and level 2 analyses here on the energy page, I see that the virtual energy analyzer has filled out both levels and set level 1 to give essentially the same annual electricity exports and revenues as level 2. It is not necessary to fill out both levels. An analyst will often choose to use one level or the other. And it is certainly not necessary that the two levels give the same results. The level 1 and 2 analyses are completely independent of each other. The two levels can have different project sizes, output, and electricity export rates as the analyst sees fit. Only one of the two will affect the rest of the analysis, and that is the one that is currently selected in the level box at the top right. The third and final group of elements are the two tables of results that summarize the performance of the technologies involved in the project. They are accessed either through the Step 3 Summary menu item or the section at the bottom of the left-hand navigation pane. The Include System table shows the capacity and output the initial, O&M and fuel costs, and electricity export revenues. It also provides a quick calculation of the simple payback for each technology and allows us to either include or exclude the technology from the overall project. The Include System table here has two rows, one for the photovoltaic system and one for the reciprocating engine that I added but forgot to fill out the details for. Just to make these tables more interesting, I could add another PV system, for instance, by duplicating the existing one. Another row would appear. I could also enter a few parameters for the reciprocating engine so that we can see how fuels figure in the summary section. I can access the parameters for the reciprocating engine either from the pane at the left-hand side or by clicking on its name in the Include System table. I'll employ an analysis that allows for multiple fuels to be used. This reciprocating engine will use 50% natural gas, 10% biogas, and 40% landfill gas. I'll enter a capacity of 10 megawatts and a heat rate of 8,000 kilojoules per kilowatt hour and assume that it operates 90% of the time. I'll use RETScreen's cost database to estimate the initial and O&M costs, which will be high due to the need to clean up the biogas and landfill gas. Finally, I'll select the High Export Tariff for this project. Back in the Include System table, I can compare these three projects, the two identical PV systems and the reciprocating engine. The reciprocating engine has the highest revenues, but also the highest costs, and has a very long simple payback. Note that revenues, O&M costs, and fuel costs are reported on an annual basis. If I select the Fuels table from the Summary section, I see a summary of all the fuels used in my proposed project and the consumption of each and the corresponding cost. Once again, these are on an annual basis. For this demonstration, I really only want a single PV system. Rather than erasing the extra PV project and the reciprocating engine, I can simply exclude them from further analysis. On the Include System page, I unselect those projects that I don't want to consider further. 
I can confirm on the fuels table that the fuel consumption associated with the reciprocating engine has disappeared. That is an overview of the elements and features of the energy page. In the next video, I will turn to the cost page.